Hello everyone and welcome to my channel again. I just want to show everyone how to do a simple uh, picture in picture in iMovie and then a simple crop in iMovie. So just stay tuned here. It's only going to take five minutes and you'll know how to do both of those. So the first thing I want to do here is basically just these are just some stock footage and I'm going to drag these down into the timeline. Obviously your video footage will be different but it, it's all basically the same. So, so we have a couple different clips in here just to give us something to work with. Um, so very simply, you know, basically for a picture in picture, it can be anything where, you know, on this scene here, I'm going to show, uh, I want to go ahead and show this tower up here um, in the upper right hand corner. Um, it can be a person talking about the plane as well. Obviously, that's very popular. I'm just going to use this little tower pretending like it's a, a documentary or something. So what you want to do is very simple is all you have to do is basically select the thing that you want to go uh, in the picture in picture and throw it on top of the timeline, um, not on the bottom, but on top up here. So make sure it's the one that you want overlying it is over this video here. Obviously, I don't need it this long, so I'm going to kind of shrink it down to the size I want. Let's just say I want it to come in right here. So I have this again on top, and this is on the bottom. I'll go ahead and click this, the one on the top. I'll go up here, and you can see this very first icon here. It's called Video Overlay Settings. You want to make sure that's basically selected. And you can see once you select that, it says there's a drop down menu here. And one of them is picture in picture. And you want to go ahead and just select that. And as you can see, just that easily, we basically have the movie that's on top sitting on top of this movie. Now, all we have to do basically is resize it. Let's just assume it's like this size. And let's just assume that you were doing a documentary and you wanted to say something about this at the same time you were showing the, the actual plane. Let me go ahead and play this. So you get the idea. So that's very, very simple. Um, and that's how you do picture in picture. It should take you five minutes to master that one. So the next thing I want to do is just a simple crop. So let's just assume for this video over here, I have a, let me just go ahead and show you a little bit of it. It's just a plane taking off or actually landing, I'm sorry. Um, so it's basically landing on the runway and, you know, very simple video. But let's just assume somewhere around here, um, you know, we actually like the shot, but we want it to be a little bit closer shot. So meaning that, you know, we want the plane to be closer t to us than having it way back here because we want to maybe say something maybe about an engine or something. And it happens to be in this part of the shot, we want to be closer to the plane. So basically that's going to be a cropping what I call crop and that's basically I'll show you how to do that as well up here so you basically have a bunch of different icons up here this one here is the crop icon you can see it it says cropping on it so if you click that you'll notice that the video kind of shrinks a little bit here um, and then there's fit crop to fill and Ken Burns we're gonna use crop to, to fill I mean Ken Burns is the one where if you have a basically a picture it kind of moves towards you or moves away from you very slowly we don't want that but we want crop to fill so you click that as soon as you click crop to fill, you're going to notice that now these things, these corners light up and they allow you to basically drag the video to the size that you want. Um, let me go ahead and show you. So you drag it. Let's just assume that's the size that we want, but we still want the screen to be 1080p. So basically crop it to this size right here. And you can notice that this is the way it's going to look when we're done. And then basically up here, there's a little check mark here. And all you want to do is just click the check mark here and boom. So now, as you can see, the plane was pretty far away before. And now when we do this, actually, the plane will be very close to us so we can get a little bit better view of the plane. Obviously, I didn't take into account what it's going to look like later in the video, so you may have to do that or just do this for a short period of time and splice the video. But as you can see, we're a lot closer to the airplane, and it totally changes the scene. Um, and sometimes that's, you know, obviously something that you need. A lot of times people shoot in 4K, and they can actually zoom in on certain specific things like that. And that's why when you shoot in 4K or 8K, it actually gives you a lot more pixels to work with. So you can make, you know, you can make changes where if you don't frame the scene correctly, you can reframe the scene and you don't lose any quality. Um, and those are the two things today. So it's basically picture in picture and then the cropping. And again, if you can support my channel, I would love it. Um, I've been doing these now for about a month or so. I, have, I don't have a lot of subscribers, but I'm just trying to gain some. And I'll continue to make videos as long as people keep subscribing. So please go ahead and do that. And until the next video, we'll talk soon. Thank you very much. Bye.